award-winning journalist and a huge advocate of spreading the word on the land debate. Give me a breakdown of what the issue is and why people should care. In the United States of America, we have about 640 million acres of what's called public land, land owned by the American people and managed by various federal agencies. This is an American birthright. It's shared by all of us. There's nothing like it in the world. How did it become federal land in the first place? During the settlement of the United States, we had the Louisiana Purchase and then the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. So we ended up with this huge block of land. Over the years, the land that was habitable that people could use for farms and whatnot was either given away in the Homestead Act or it was just claimed by people. What was left over, like the high mountains, the deserts, the grasslands, the federal government took over ownership of that and managed it and then leased it to private people. Now what would happen if the states had the land? If the states took control of what's now federal land, the management of those lands costs more than those lands can produce. And so the state would be on the hook for, say, a forest fire. The budget of that would, would break most states' budgets immediately. So the entire body of evidence for this says that if the states take control of the lands, they'll do what Utah is doing with a lot of its state lands now, which is sell them off into private ownership. What it would do is make us more like the rest of the world, where hunting is reserved for the very wealthy few, and the rest of us simply I, I don't know what we do. There's an entire economy of ranching in the West. You own one piece of land and you lease federal lands at a fairly low grazing rate. And so you don't have to own those lands. You don't have to pay taxes on them, but you, you can use them. The states couldn't do that job because they don't have the budget. And so they would sell those lands and it would probably be the extinction of small scale ranching in the arid West. That would just be an entire weather change in our country. The American birthright of these public lands and this freedom that it represents for every man rich and poor, every man, woman, and child in America, as we're talking about getting rid of that. And I just want people to learn as much as they can about what's at stake. All right, guys, let us know what you think about the land debate in the comment section below. Then head to Raider Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe. I'm Abby Casey.